Hi, welcome to the presentation for the Advanced Math and Science Pathway for Walton STEM Academy. My name is Angela Gregg, and I'm the ninth grade science teacher for AMS. I teach the STEM AP Environmental Science course. Let's get an overview of the AMS pathway. Those students who choose the AMS track need to have a talent and a passion for both math and science. You're making a four-year commitment to the STEM program in order to earn that STEM designation on your diploma, so you really need to have a passion for math and science. You'll have two required classes with your cohort each year if you choose the AMS pathway. That would be an advanced math class and also an AP science class. And then the remainder of your uh, classes, the other four classes that you take, are flexible. And you can choose those according to your graduation needs and according to your interests. Let's look at where you should be in the 8th grade if you're interested in choosing the AMS pathway. As an 8th grader, you should already be enrolled in the Accelerated Algebra Geometry uh, A class. And that's because as a 9th grader, you'll be taking a continuation of that sequence, which is the Geometry and Algebra 2 course. So you have to be taking this class in the 8th grade so that you can move into the required math class for AMS as a 9th grader. Also, as an 8th grader, you should be enrolled in the Advanced Content Physical Science course. And then your teacher, your 8th grade teacher, should recommend you as a 9th grader to go into Honors Science. Just an overview of the courses for the four years in the AMS program. Again, there are two classes required each year. We're listing out here the 9th grade courses, 10th, 11th, and 12th. And I'll talk about each of those on uh, the next slides. And I, I do want to point out, though, from this slide that we do recommend that students take AP Statistics in either the 10th or the 11th grade, and that's to prepare them for their senior research project. So the Statistics course will come in handy there. Looking in detail at the ninth grade course for AMS, again, the math is going to be the Geometry Algebra 2 course. That's a continuation of the sequence that you start as an eighth grader. This is going to make sure that you have time and that you are prepared for those higher level math courses that you'll take in AMS. Your science course is going to be your very first AP science course. Uh, I do want to point out that the required science courses for AMS are all AP level courses. So this is going to be your first introduction to an AP level course in science. We're going to lay the, the foundation here for the types of skills that you'll need. We'll work on, uh, in AP Environmental Science, we'll work on the science practices that you need to be successful in your future courses in AMS. We do things like uh, experimental design, we focus on laboratory technique, and we also focus on data analysis. Those are all skills that will be used throughout your four years in AMS. And the good thing about starting off with environmental science as your first AP course is that the content is a little bit more concrete. We've all been outside, we've experienced the environment, so uh, students tend to have some experience with the content, makes it a little bit easier to understra understand, and uh, the environmental science content is also less abstract. Moving on, looking at the 10th grade classes that you'll take, the Accelerated Pre-Calculus class is um, the most advanced pre-calculus course that we have. It's going to prepare you for our highest level single variable calculus uh, class that we offer, which is the Calculus BC. And also this pre-calculus course is going to incorporate a couple of finite math topics that you may see in, compu in computer science if you're interested in taking um, those courses. Also some of those finite math topics show up in some of your upper level math classes. Uh, the science class that you're going to take is AP Chemistry. This is the content equivalent of a first year uh, college class in chemistry. This is going to build on those science practices that you will develop in AP Environmental Science with me as a ninth grader. But the content here in AP Chemistry is going to be a little bit more abstract, and it's also novel. So this is sometimes um, the first class that uh, AMS students encounter that gives them their first little bit of difficulty in science. They may have breezed through science before, but this is the first one that's going to have brand new content, and um, you really have to apply yourself for this class. Um, not that it's impossible. We understand that, and we put some scaffolding in place to make sure that you're successful. For one, we're going to give you um, some summer work. We'll give you a summer work packet to help give you a jump start on the content. Uh, another thing is uh, we do offer an online um, honors chemistry class that you can take through Cobb Virtual Academy. Some students choose to do that during their ninth grade year. Some choose to do it in the summer leading up to 10th grade. It's not required, 
but it is advised because most students going into an AP chemistry course would have already taken honors chemistry, so they have some of that chemistry background. So again, this is not required, but it is advisable so that you've got um, a little more chemistry content before you jump into a college level course. Uh, we do have extra help available, of course, from the teacher. That's what webs are for. So most Wednesday afternoons, the teacher is available uh, for help during web. Also, uh, all of our teachers have office hours either before or after school um, to help you. So there is plenty of teacher assistance available. Also, there's peer tutoring available um, from some of the National Honor Societies, like the Science National Honor Society. There are upperclassmen who were successful in AP Chemistry who can help you, sometimes learning from a peer. Um, helps to put it in a different perspective from the way a teacher presents it. And then also students uh, have self-organized their own study groups, and that's helpful as well. But I want to make sure that you understand that um, even though AP Chemistry, some students are kind of a little hesitant to jump into that as a 10th grader, there's no reason you can't be successful. Uh, we have put everything that we can to help you make sure that you are successful in this class. While I'm on the 10th grade courses, I want to um, talk here about a special option that's available to all STEM students, regardless of the pathway that you choose, and that's that uh, you have the option to take three courses in computer science if you are involved in the STEM Academy and if you have an interest and a passion for computer science. Computer science is a popular elective here at Walton, and traditionally we've had to limit it to upperclassmen, and specifically seniors are the ones who are going to get first priority as far as classes. So that means that some of those non-STEM students on the traditional route, they don't get a chance to take um, all of the computer science that they may be interested in. Some are limited to just that first year course. So if you choose the STEM Academy, then you can start computer science as early as the 10th grade, and you can fit in three classes in computer science. Looking at the courses that you would take in 11th grade, it's AP Calculus BC, which is, uh, as far as the single variable calculuses, is the most rigorous course that we offer at Walton. It is the content equivalent of the first two semesters of college calculus. And then to complement that, you'll be taking AP Physics C, the mechanics course, which is the content equivalent of the first semester of uh, calculus-based college physics. This would be appropriate for those who intend to major in engineering or in the physical sciences. Uh, in order to take the AP Physics C course, you have to be concurrently enrolled in calculus or you have to have completed calculus. So this is a nice complement um, for the 11th grade year. Moving on to the 12th grade, we're looking at the math option. There are two there. You're going to take multivariable calculus now. You have the option of either taking this post-AP course at Walton, taught by a Walton teacher, or there are those students who choose to apply to the Georgia Tech Distance Program. It does require application and you have to be admitted. Those students have the choice to take their distance calculus class at Walton, uh, proctored by a Walton teacher, but it is an online course that's provided at Walton through Georgia Tech. But again, you do have to apply to that program to be admitted. There are two options there for math as a senior. AP Biology is the science course that you'll take. It's the content equivalent of a two-semester college introductory biology course, and this one is appropriate for biology majors. And in this course, I'd like to point out that you will work with your AP Biology teacher to develop your senior project. Let's look at the additional STEM Academy requirements regardless of the pathway you choose. So AMS, Biomed, or Engineering, they all have similar requirements. Ninth and 10th grade, all of you need to compete in an academic competition. I've listed out some of the popular ones here. My students have typically done Science Olympiad and Math Team, but um, there's something here for whatever interests you. But you are required to do an academic competition for two years. Moving on to the, um, the STEM internship that's required as part of our STEM Academy requirements, um, you can choose to do that either in the 10th or the 11th grade during the summer. Some options there for you are to shadow a professional for 40 hours. You could choose to do a STEM-oriented camp, summer camp, we try to put you in touch with um, or give you some available options that we know that students have completed in the past that they've enjoyed. So you can choose to do a STEM-related camp. The last option is the Governor's Honors Program. If you are eligible for this, uh, this is an awesome opportunity. I will say that it's highly selective. This is a program um, you can choose to compete in either science or math or engineering. That would be typical for our students. Um, but you choose a particular track that you would want to apply to and you are interviewed at the school level, you are interviewed at higher levels, um, you have to submit an application. It's a very selective uh, process, 
but if you make it through the process or the selection process, it's an awesome opportunity. It's a residential program in the summer, I believe it's about four weeks, where you can focus on what interests you, if it's the math or the science or the engineering. But those who um, apply and make it through the interview process and are selected, um, that would count for your 40-hour STEM internship as well. But again, this is a very selective program. And then looking at the 12th grade, all students required to do a culminating research project, and in the AMS path, you're going to work with your AP Biology teacher in order to accomplish that. We're very excited about the travel opportunities that we're working on uh, that are just for the STEM students. Uh, we believe that travel is a great opportunity for the students to bond with their classmates. It helps to enrich the curriculum. It just helps to broaden a, a student's horizons overall if they're able to participate in travel. In the ninth grade, we have traditionally done the trip to Tremont, which is an outdoor learning institute in the Great Smoky Mountains. We take a long weekend, some of the teachers chaperone. Um, generally, all the pathways will go. Most students choose to attend, but it's a nice opportunity with everyone coming from different middle schools and in different pathways. It's a nice opportunity for them to bond and to uh, learn about their classmates. The counselors at the camp um, plan activities that go along with our curricula. So if you're in the engineering track, they plan some specific outdoor activities that would be uh, applicable to engineering. As far as the environmental science, that uh, you're taking as a ninth grader with me and AMS. The outdoor activities that they, that they plan are awesome. They um, relate to our curricula very well. Um, one of the memorable things that we do is we go out in the water and we collect macro invertebrates in the water and then we go and look at them under the microscope and knowing what types of bugs live in the water gives you an idea about the water quality in that particular area. It ties in really well to environmental science. Um, but the counselors there, they do a very good job of, of choosing outdoor activities that help to enhance our curriculum. Looking at um, some future travel opportunities that we've been planning, these are new for the STEM Academy. We are uh, in the process of planning the trip to Panama. That would be during winter break, that's February of 2022. And that would be open to ninth and 10th graders in 2022. For, so for those of you eighth graders who are looking at AMS right now, that would be you. That would be an option for you that you might consider. Uh, there will be a meeting at 7.30 tonight to talk more about those travel opportunities. So if you're interested, make sure that you attend that meeting. And then for uh, the future 11th and 12th graders as of 2022, uh, we are in the works uh, planning something for June in order for those kids to go to Scotland. So we're very excited about the travel opportunities that we're planning for STEM. And these are only for STEM Academy students. You'll be going with your STEM peers, and these are all planned to help enrich the STEM curriculum that you're already getting in the classroom. Looking at your student life, our goal at Walton uh, for the STEM Academy is to produce well-rounded students. One of the things that I'd like to point out, since we aren't a magnet program, you do have a little bit more latitude in the classes that you choose to take at Walton. If you are in the STEM Academy, and specifically, let's look at AMS, then you are required to take two classes per year with your fellow AMS students with your cohort. And that's it as far as the STEM Academy requirements for classes, that you take your math and your science classes with your fellow AMS students. The rest of your schedule, the other four classes, you're free to choose whatever you want to take as long as it meets your graduation requirements and um, is the level of rigor that you choose for your classes. And you also want to look at things that meet your interests. So you have some freedom there with your electives. If you're interested in a language, you can pursue that language all four years. If you have an interest in orchestra, we have a picture here from, from uh, the orchestra. If you're interested in that, you can pursue that all four years. Um, you have some latitude in your schedule since we aren't magnet to be able to take the classes that you want. Also, those other four classes that are not STEM related, you're free to take those uh, with your non-STEM peers. So you aren't segregated uh, if you choose to go with the AMS with um, Walton STEM Academy. You won't be segregated from your non-STEM peers. You'll be taking classes with non-STEM peers. Um, so it gives you a, a nice exposure to the whole high school experience. Again, you have flexibility in your schedule to choose what you want. That way you can experience everything that Walton has to offer. Um, I've had students who have been in orchestra, they've been in marching band, um, some have been student athletes. There are plenty who are involved in different volunteer and leadership activities. Um, basically, there is an extracurricular activity for you 
and you will have time to be involved in it so that you can have a well-rounded high school experience. And that's what we want for you. I'd like to point out that there is a zero period option, that's a tuition course, for those who need a little bit more flexibility with their schedule. For those who would like to add on another class, traditionally students take six classes. If you'd like to add on a seventh class so that you can pursue something that interests you, there is that option um, for that. And um, I'd also like to talk about the level of rigor of your classes. Since you are only required to take the math and science classes through the STEM Academy, and you're free to choose uh, the rest of your classes, think about pursuing the other classes at the level of rigor that's appropriate for you. And what I mean by that is if English is not your strong suit, then don't feel pressured to take AP literature or AP language. Um, don't feel, feel pressured to take those AP level classes in something that doesn't interest you. You want to make sure that you find a nice balance as far as your coursework. Your math and science classes are going to be pretty rigorous. So, you know, if some of your elective classes or some of your other academic classes, if that's not your strong suit, don't feel pressure to take AP classes for those. Um, there are plenty of honors classes that, that are uh, very interesting and provide plenty of rigor, but they aren't uh, going to burn you out as a student. You aren't going to be putting too much on yourself. So don't feel the pressure to take all AP classes. At Walton, we want all of our STEM students to be successful and to enjoy their four years of the program. So with that in mind, we put in place a couple of supports, one of which is an emphasis on teamwork. We know that collaboration with peers in the classroom improves student engagement and student achievement. We also know that teamwork is one of those soft skills that employers are going to be looking for in the future. Outside of the classroom, most students will participate in some self-organized study groups, and we encourage that. The faculty members on the STEM program, we are all sensitive to the issues that teenagers face in such a competitive environment as STEM. Um, in transitioning from middle school, where you may be a big fish in a small pond, to high school, where you may be a smaller fish, we understand the issues that come along with that. And then as far as the four years in your academic load, we understand some of the pressures that you may feel because of that. So I just want to emphasize that we as a faculty are here to help you. We provide extra help. Webs are available those Wednesday afternoons. That's the, the opportune time for you to go in and seek help from your teacher. And then all of us uh, provide scheduled office hours either before or after school where we're available for help. And then uh, I talked before about the fact that we do have peer tutoring available from um, upperclassmen in some of those honor societies like the Math and Science Honor Society. So if you are struggling, you may want to consider working with a peer. But we've, we've got a couple of support systems in place um, because we do, again, we want to make sure that you enjoy your experience with the STEM Academy. I want to thank you for listening to our presentation. If you have any questions, please contact Dr. Link. She's our STEM Academy director and her contact information is listed here. If you should have questions that are specific to the ninth grade AMS AP Environmental Science curriculum, you are welcome to contact me as well. Again, my name is Angela Gregg and my contact information is listed there. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Have a good night. Thank you.